Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. My name is Apostle Cedric, and I bring you a prophetic word from the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for the privilege to share your word with your people. I ask that you speak to us clearly in Jesus' mighty name. Um, in the Lord's Prayer, in the book of Luke chapter 11, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive. And that's where I'm going to end. As we forgive. Many Christians don't understand the mystery of forgiveness and unforgiveness. You see, every time you can't forgive people, you tie yourself in the realm of the spirit. There are certain levels of deliverance you will never experience if you don't let people go from your heart. It doesn't matter what they did to you. It doesn't matter what they did against you. The love of God is an example to us that there is no sin that men should not be able to pardon. There is nothing that man has done to man that man has not done to God. For every 10 people that sinned against you, 8 billion sinned against God, yet he forgave them. There is something God knows that makes God forgive. And what is that? God knows that the stronger person is the one that forgives, not the one that waits for an apology. If you wait for people to tell you they are sorry before you forgive them, you are going to miss a lot in life. Life is so simple. Principles make life enjoyable. Why are you stressing yourself so much? Forgive that person. I met a woman who had not spoken to her sister for over 30 years. Can you imagine that? A family is put in jeopardy because nobody wants to be a fool and say a little word, I am sorry. A lady shared about her experience of hell and heaven. She was dead and went into eternity. And she was sent to hell. She was a woman of God. And the Lord told her, you are going to hell because you didn't forgive your ex-husband. All through your days as a minister of God, that thing remained in your heart. It disqualifies you from heaven. You see, unforgiveness carries eternal consequences. When you don't forgive people, you convert temporal consequence into eternal consequences. Never let somebody's sin eat you up so much that you can't forgive them. Unforgiveness holds the unforgiven person and not the other party. Once people make peace with God, God forgives them and they move on. If you choose not to forgive them, then you are the one living the past while they are in the future. I hope that this prophetic word has been a blessing to somebody here. God bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.